Oh, look! Rocks! I've never been here before. You ever just hit go live? You ever just hit go live on your uh your stream deck and then it runs the fundraiser go live thing and you're like, oh Well that's not right. Let's so say have to undo all the things it did, like tweeting out that the fundraiser is live and switching to the wrong scenes and your stream deck buttons going to the wrong scenes. Does this work? Okay, cool. BRP, cool. I don't think we're good in that regard. I was gonna ask about that. Don't worry, we <laughs> in there. Uh, oh, there are no zombies in this game that suck. Now there are no zombies in this game. Uh, let's see here. This, actually not these, can all go bye-bye. These all get to go down to scene jail. Everyone say goodbye to the fundraiser streams. Or stream screens. All ice? Alice? I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe she is a zombie, maybe he's not. 
Okay. <laughs> and we can, uh, you guys can't see this, but I am getting rid of the browser source. It's currently a possum picture. Okay. Uh, and then we need to make sure that the primary game source is VLR is not, because the monthly game capture VLR it is. Hell yeah. Turn that on. Go on over to this scene. Boop. How are you all? The webcam is backwards. Don't worry. I'm gonna fix that. Maybe. Boom! How is everyone? Sorry, this is very scuffed. I apologize. I haven't streamed since Saturday. Cinnamons! That's a really good username. <laughs> I noticed. Tired. Same. <laughs> um, there's a McDonald's cup in the way, too. Oh god, there's so many things in the way. I need to do a get shit out of my room run. This weekend has been weird in terms of personal energy to do things. Working on a new scene? Hell yeah. What's that gonna be like? It's gonna be fancy? Did you make it yourself? Are there gonna be... I am a truck. Uh, but here's what I want to know. Is Raglan a truck? I think the results speak for themselves more. <laughs> Thank you for the answer. Now we know. You're welcome. Need to get shit on my apartment run true. Condo life. But also just cleaning life. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Welcome in everyone. I heard his him say that he is. It's true. It's more likely than you think. I'm gonna be over here while we get this set up. How's everyone doing? Um, welcome in. Everyone. We are playing the video game about Virtue's last reward. Like, Virtue has a reward, but it's the last one. So, we're gonna see how Virtue sort of deals with that, you know? Like, what happens when Virtue's like, Oh no, I went to the pantry to get some rewards, but this was the last one, now I have to go to the store. I guess that's how they deal with it. I just answered my own question. Nice. Uh, let me pause the Virtue's last reward music. Get that. It's gonna be loud. Never mind, it's gonna be perfectly quiet. Lo-fi in there. That's louder. Might wanna turn that down a little. Actually. Ah, that face when you stream. Back, welcome back, bandit. I wanna join for both Coraline. More. And Friday the 13th. But the timing just didn't line up for me. Sag. Timing didn't line up for me either. <laughs> On Friday the 13th. Ah! You guys like honey mustard? Anyone want some honey mustard? Yes, Coraline, that too. That's co still Coraline with two O's. Almost more. One more try. One more try more. I believe in you. Thank you! No! <gasps> Vulture gave the host. Vulture Koza! I was lurking last night. You. There you go. It's, it's actually Crawline. Mustard's icky. No, it's not mustard. It's honey mustard. It's different. Um, that was game about stagecoach and death and alcohol. Hello, Inner Dead. Dark Dungeon 2. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. And I'm really looking forward to seeing it grow. Nice. I have a response for that. I mean it in jest, but I do have a response for that. That would be your mother. So as a but base mustard taste, Sag. Got more mustard than I will need after working at the deli. True. All right. Um. Hmm. This is sus. Does anyone know where? But that's good to hear, Volshock. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Saw an opportunity, I had to jump on it. Um, does anyone know where the video game is? Where is that at? We're gonna find it together. Maybe it's just waiting for me to like be inside the window. 
There we go. Let's go. Um, so, last time we played, we apparently played for about three hours. Um, last time we played, we found ourselves in a strange warehouse. Uh, we are playing oh, as Sigma on Steam, your computer? Yeah, it's right there. I found it. Uh, right. We're playing as Sigma. Right. We have another <laughs> goddamn bracelet on our wrists. It changes what it says from time to time, uh, but say it's consistent. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll. More on that in, in this stream. Um, there's different colored doors. There's a rabbit named Zero the Third. A lot happened last night. Oh, rather than change title. Boom. Heck you, stream deck. Um, thank you more. Uh, I need to put tags, I think. This is like, no spoilers. Um, backseating allowed, but probably not needed. Ally. AMA. I think that's good. S uh, Sigma balls? No! <laughs> My crown like flew forward a little bit. No. Also, uh, uh, Volschlag already made that joke. Oh, god damn it. The thing is. Okay, there we go. Um, a lot happened last stream. If you weren't here, um, a lot happened. I would honestly go back, <laughs> uh, watch that stream. Volschlag. Did you see my, my subtweet after the tweet that you had me tweet out? Where I subtweeted you and teased you about the difference between a kingdom and a principality? There was no, uh... I felt bad because there was no... That's what I'm looking for. Um... Like tags, ta tags that people put at the end of sentences to show... Intent. It's supposed is jokingly basically is is what I'm getting at, so I didn't mean any, any like anything rude by it, anything mean by it. Tone tack, yeah, there you go. Like there's no ten tonality. <gasps> Hummin, hello. Yo, Hummin, you're here for the start. Oh, kind of at the start. The second episode. If you haven't seen the first um, episode, this is gonna be very confusing. Uh, I voted for Ally, but I felt bad for Carp Golem or Alley. Inner dead wrong. <laughs> Wrong vote. <laughs> Wrong vote. We're talking about in the game we just voted ally with Alice after firing on this whole spiel about the prisoner's dilemma and how voting betray was the logical answer. Um, I don't think she explicitly said that she wanted us to vote betray, but she was very heavily implying that she wanted us to vote betray. I didn't be honest. I don't recognize any government outside of municipal government of Flavortown. Fair enough. So, we literally just voted ally. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. If you guys have not seen the first episode also, I want you guys all to give me your snap judgments, just like looking at the characters, looking at some of the dialogue. What do you think of each one? Because there's a lot of really funny responses uh, to the characters last time. Thank you for your especially, participation. Especially in hindsight is the best part. Ambidex gates. Now opening. <laughs> Fuck Gramps. God, I love these reactions. Uh, why hasn't the masked guy tried to remove his mask or armor? Uh, I think they might have mentioned, and you watched it more recently than I have. If they haven't, they'll talk about it here. Um, they're just like pretty well stuck in there. Booba. I would kill 10 with my own hands. Sag. As fine as I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others running toward the protector. Projections, shoving and pushing to get closer. What the hell were you thinking? Did you hear anything I said? Yeah, I was, and yeah, I did. Then? Well, I, I want to believe in Alice. It's not really a rational decision. I know. Yo, what is the morally up? correct one? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Let's go. We'll find out if you made the right choice. All right. Good, good, good. <laughs> it looks like 
Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock! And the next game! Also, real quick, I think... Yeah. So if you look at the flow of the game, this is the flow of the game. Like, each choice that you can feasibly make is shown here. This is what it looks like. Each one of these is an ending. I'm going to tell you right now, there's actually more than this. But like, look at it. It's beautiful. So yeah, we are now on this path where we chose the blue door and chose to ally Alice. So we can get one of these longer ones if we play our cards right. Round one! The results! If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. We all allied! Oh, just kidding. I, that's not what that meant. What? We did not ally. So, uh, these are the results of the game. I'm gonna linger here for a second so we can uh, analyze. Rip. Those that said ally, yeah. Except for in here, in the middle. They both, uh, they all got two points. So, K and Clover chose to betray Temmyoji, who chose to ally. So, Temmyoji lost two points. K and Clover gained three points. Same over here, Sigma Phi. We chose to ally with Alice, who voted to betray us. So she gets three points, we lose two points. Dio Quark, Luna, all chose to ally. So they both gain two points. Here are the results from your game. Stitcher, that is kind of the goal, now, yeah. Oh, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Oof. Hey, Alice! What the hell is this? Excuse me? I just made the most rational choice. <laughs> the best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. Why? Why did you do it? I could ask you the same question. Why did you do something as stupid as choose ally? Why? Haven't you heard of the prisoner's dilemma? The best solution is for all of us to choose ally. Oh, really? All of us, huh? Kay and Clover chose Betray too, you know. Yes. I know about the prisoner's dilemma. But everyone picking ally isn't a reasonable outcome. Just look at the results for this round. What do they tell you? You're a pretty tender-hearted guy to trust somebody you've just met. Well, maybe tender-headed would be a little more appropriate in this case. Damn. Wow. <laughs> That's so rude. Oh, was that upsetting? My apologies. I'm only trying to warn you. Alice is right. You made a stupid choice. Wow. And thanks to you, our BP is down to one now. Wow. God damn it. I set my jaw. I set my jaw and stumped away from Alice and Thigh. My hands had balled themselves into fists, but my throat was tight and my eyes stung. Why? Why has she done it? Quirk, Dio, and Luna's group, on the other hand, seemed calm, almost happy. Thank you. I'm so happy you chose Ally. No problem. Well, to tell you the truth, Mr. Dio wanted to pick Betray. What? Hey! Mr. Dio told me to pick Betray so that we could get three points. He said we could escape together. If we betrayed you, then we'd have six BP. And then, if we betrayed someone in the next round, we'd have nine. Oh. Um, Dio, is this true? No, th that's not what happened at all. What if a rival? Kidding! I lied. <laughs> that was a joke. Brett, Quirk, what the fuck? 
What if a spooky team four days? True. Mr. Dio would never do something like that. It was a joke. Yeah. Man, he really had me going there. <laughs> <laughs> I really surprised you, huh? Corp, what the fuck? So you really were planning to choose ally all along? Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it. We only did what anybody else would do. Haha, <laughs> well you see. Right, Mr. Dio? Uh, yeah. Exactly. Strictly incorrect. I understand. I guess I just haven't had enough time to earn your trust, huh? Um, I suppose you could say that. I just didn't really expect you to be so nice about it. 188% sussy baka, Miko. Why are you so sus, Miko? Looked like there had been some sort of argument between K Clover and Temyoji, but whatever it was seemed to have resolved itself amicably. Zero, when is the next one? 296%! Considerably more sus. And Baka. Eevee! Not even. The <laughs> that's. That's. Yeah, I was about to say that sounds about right. Well, you said round one. Ren, that also sounds right. Also, welcome in. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. <gasps> Minty! Bandit, you're so sus. You're so baka. Minty, how you doing? Welcome in. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. True. Oh, yeah, I guess you got a point. You're right. There will be a second round. When? I don't know. Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Um, they're already open. Yep. Right, you are. So, let me just close up. Hmm, that's a lovely sound. The Love that sound. Ren, thank you for the luck! Hope you're having a good night. Interesting. I think the last round was the sun round? If I do, if I do remember correctly? Yeah, moon cards. Does that mean we can't use these cards anymore since they've got suns on them? I'm sad and crying, but trying! A bit deep, that's so bad. Could, possibly, most likely. No, sad. Sad is definitely bad. Sad is bad. Yes, I mean, not all the time, obviously. It's healthy to be sad sometimes, but like... Now, you'll have to look for guards with runes on them. Minty, would it make you feel better if I played you some sad air horns? So, how many times do we play the AB game? I don't know. As many times as you need to. It's anybody's guess how long you'll go. B emotions. So it's over when someone gets nine BP. We've yes, Tamio dude, we've been over this multiple times. No. As long what? as that person doesn't open oh, true? the number nine door, the game goes on. Also true, you could just get to nine and then wait. Of course. You could also get stuck just below nine BP, where everybody just keeps going back and forth and back and forth and losing points. After all, if there's no money with nine BP. I don't know how to answer that. I don't say it for you. Here you go. This is for Minty. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed. Think they'd be alive that long, Zero. I really, really hope it is a hey, can I ask you something? I don't know. Can you? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> that was ball time. There's rules about who can go into the secondary doors, right? Like, you have to have three people exactly. Yeah, so? I don't know whether to cry from sadness or laughter now. 
Uh, I choose laughter if I get a choice. Well, what about the number nine door? Are the rules the same? There aren't any rules about how many people can go through that door. It could be one person or two people or even all nine of you. Damn. Um, there is one thing we'll see. Let's see. All that stuff about how you have to have three people to go through the secondary chromatic doors. Maybe it's not 100%. What? What do you mean? Well, you can open the door with just one or two people if you want. That's not what you told us. Well, I didn't want to make things complicated. Then explain it now. Just use the bracelets. What? How? There's a sort of scanner between the two doors. It checks to see if the right people are going through. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's scanning. Give love to Minty, my homies. True love and chat for Minty. So it's scanning the bracelets then? Just like a 999. Doesn't matter about the people, it's all about the bracelets. As long as the scanner sees the right combination of bracelets, it doesn't matter how many people there are. But wait, hold on a minute. Do these things even come off? I'm gonna turn down if I can. One second, I'm gonna turn down the background music just a little bit. It's a little bit louder than the, the dialogue. It's distracting me. Isn't that obvious? Isn't that obvious? Isn't that obvious? Yeah, that's better. Well, there's two ways. The first is to get through the number nine door and escape. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks all by itself. What's the second way? Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second way? Oh, Bio. I think you already know. What? You thought your first kiss would be Jojo, but it was I, Dio! There he is. Is Dio. Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? Of course I do! Oh, well. I see. It's easy. Nothing to it, really. You. Die. I think it bears repeating it. It's been long enough. Your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses. You know what an electrocardiogram is, right? Obviously. Technically, it's a machine that graphs the electric current flowing across the myocardium, but you probably know it as the thing in the hospital with the little light that goes beep, 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 beep. When someone dies on a TV show. The point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always watching. So, did Zero the Third just say that Dio is Bio? No, that is uh, Zero's nickname for Dio is Bio because they rhyme. The lock on Can't the you just cut your arm off? Releases, right? You could do that, I think. Yep. Zero's queer coded. Oh my fucking god. So, there you go. The second way, your heart stops, your bracelet comes off. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could do that. <sighs> Apart from that, there's no other way to get the bracelets off. If you try something harebrained, like trying to break them or something, you'll be disobeying the rules. I don't think I need to remind you what happens when you do that. That might count as breaking the rules, though. But if you're lucky, oh, I'm sorry, you Bandit. see a few of them come off. Yo, if anyone's down, I'd be down to play Flux Gross. after our stream. Blamble waggled. I guess it's not gonna be very lucky for some of you, huh? <laughs> Creepy rabbit. Next round. Uh, yep. I think I do set off the watch on my chopped up arm. True. 
That would be hella sleep, Sedge. What do you mean? Well, do I have to explain everything? Somebody might die during the next round of the AB game. Whoa. There. That's pretty clear, right? If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be Tenmyoldi. Or Siggy. Oh, or maybe Fido. Or maybe everyone. <laughs> what? Why? Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized. Just like when you break the rules. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is. What up, homeboy? Is. Not uh, much. Let's say not what. It's strictly not how you answer that. Not much magic apple. How you doing? We in there. We're playing BLR. This is equal to 999. Brain power. Brain cells? No. Talking about bracelet points. Correct, Siggy. Full marks. Nice guess, though. So, Fi had been right. But how had she known before Zero told us? Mika, that sounds incorrect. Fi, Sigma, and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. Hmm, it took a moment to go over everything in my head. The A and B game would continue until someone opened the number 9 door. There were no rules about how many people could or couldn't pass through the number 9 door. That meant it was possible for everyone to escape. Doing good, just having a hard time making the hair of a character in the commission look right. Sad, the hair is super fluffy and hard to make it look right. References, references, references. Look at all them references. Secondary chromatic doors could have... Also, just like, if I were in that situation, it literally just like... YouTube search would be like how to draw fluffy hair. Secondary chromatic doors could be opened by any number of people as long as you had the right bracelets. The bracelets would only unlock under two conditions. If you left the building or if your heart stopped. Thank you, Streamlabs. Streamlabs, that's Stitcher. Stitcher was like, emotes. If your BP hit zero, the needles in your bracelet would activate, killing you. Uh oh! One last thing. The next set of chromatic doors you'll be going through are downstairs. True, we did find those last stream. You already saw them, right? Yep. There should have been three. Step part is I have a picture of the girl you I'm trying to draw, so I know how your hair should look sad. That means... Yo, that speaking of art. Through, art command, there we go. bracelets in cyan, magenta, and yellow. True. But wait, you've already got those bracelets. Yo, what's the art person? You're good at art. That's true. Shout out to Magic Apple. Have a look. I would give out a literal shout out to Magic Apple, but I don't think Magic Apple streams. And by I don't think, I mean I definitely know the Magic Apple doesn't stream. The colors changed, hasn't it? it? Did change. I'm, ye I'm yellow now. So am I. Me too. Hmm. It looks like the color wasn't the only thing that changed. What do you mean? Well, it looks like our groups have changed too. I was a solo last round, but now it says pair. So now we're paired with Luna. Wait, really? Mine still says solo. Get fucked. It looks like Luna and I both changed. Although I've gone from solo to pair. I'm the opposite. Mine went from pair to solo. Uh, no change here. Still a pair. I'm... I guess this must be... Magenta. Are you two magenta too? Uh-huh. Yeah. Quark, Clover, and I are cyan. Oh, bitch! Oh my fucking god, comfy, wait. Spot, 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 Thank you, comfy, for the sick beat. I just came on Twitch, but I've been thinking about a pog. Now that I only stream on TikTok randomly, gotcha. <gasps> Bandit, good night. A oh, sweet dreams. Oh, hi, you. Comfy, welcome in. How you doing? How was stream? This is a sequel to the game that I really like that you played that you don't like as much, but you liked. The music in this has has that weird phone ringing sound in it. The 99 had it's kind of annoying, Sag. I think Mr. K and I are pairs, and Miss Clover is a solo? Looks like it. When did they change? 
bad when the AB gates closed. Better really be like Flux and then sleep. Man, I really want to play Flux. <sighs> Damn it, I knew that was happening. Couldn't stop it though. Are you, can you say? Oh, yeah. Like that? As I got you. Easy. Also true. Hop around like a bunny. And of course, it's <laughs> she was good. Oh, she was ecstatic right, and talked about it with chat for a bit. Great experience. Hell yeah. No rules or anything. I had to have movie night before stream because East Coast people like Bandit uh, go to sleep early. So I wanted to, and we wouldn't have a lot of movie night. So he did movie night first and then stream. So I had to miss Chasing Static, but I saw you were playing it. I liked your tweet. Now, with all of that explained... How was it, though? I must bid you adieu. Sadly, we How did it compare to the again. demo? Because I know you, you played through the demo portion. I was there for that part uh, last time you streamed it. But, like, how does the rest of it compare? East Coast is all a bunch of grandpas. I have to agree. What? Well... There's not really anything for me to facilitate anymore. Is that true? I mean, you guys are good from here, right? I East Coast is the Beast Coast. That bun bun has a lot going on in its, its design there. Yes. Never see you guys again. I have things to say about this bunny's design, but I can't say them yet. If I may. It's made by Headbird Games, and I really recommend giving it a look and showing some love. Single person dev team made damn. Main release game, which is super difficult. This is very true. The rest is just as high quality. It's real dang good. Hell yeah! Glad to hear it. Shout out to Headware Games. My schedule is like already booked up until the first week of December. But depending on how highly re you recommend it, I might also try giving it a go in December. If, you really think I was gonna cry? Yeah. If you really highly recommend it, don't book 10 to 11. I have it booked, Evie, for your for your thing. Uh, I guess 11 is okay. Uh, if you think it is worth me streaming, Comfy, go ahead, drop in suggestions. Add it to the suckers. list. Damn. Sarah really just got out here calling us suckers. Cry over you dummies. Wow, rude. What the? Fucking dick. <laughs> you mad? <Ooh. laughs> anyway, good luck. Zero to be trolling like boxy. I may be gone, but I'm always watching. It's a narrative exploration game, which, uh, much like those walking simulator type games, very cool. But I don't know how much it's a streaming game. Maybe. I mean, I'm See streaming. Again someday. I'm streaming fucking VLR. <laughs> <laughs> I've streamed What Remains of Edith, Edith Finch. I'm streaming this game. A nice tragedy. I'm already walking the line of games that really shouldn't be streamed. <laughs> that little piece of shit. If I could just get my hands on that little fucker, I'd squeeze him till he popped. I thought that said pooped at first, and I was very confused. <laughs> that sounds gross. Equally gross, yeah. I don't really want to think about that. Um, Same. So, what happens now? We've still got a while until the chromatic doors open. I will squeeze until you poop. <laughs> uh, hot. We should go and see if we can find any other exits. Maybe there's a vent or a disposal chute or something. If there's a chance Zero missed something. I concur. There's no point in standing around. We lose nothing by looking. And if we find nothing, we can always return and go through the chromatic doors. Let's split up. Five minutes would give us a good half hour or so. Let's meet in front of the chromatic doors five minutes before they open then. Any objections? There were none. After some nods and mumbling, they split up and moved off to investigate. Feed the snake salt again. Do it! Wait, is that good for snakes? How much salt are snakes allowed to eat? 
I was the only person who stayed behind. Damn. How the hell did I end up here? Why? Why me? Try as I might, I couldn't think of anything I'd done that could have landed me in Zero's game. I hadn't pissed anyone off, or at least not this bad. I didn't owe anybody money, and my family certainly wasn't rich. If anyone was hoping to get a fat ransom payout for me, they are going to be very disappointed. Obviously, I wasn't some kind of genius, nor was I an Olympic athlete. I certainly hadn't chosen... <laughs> I certainly hadn't been chosen by God to fulfill some great purpose on his earth. Well, at least if I was, I didn't know it yet. I started a fight with a frightening and mysterious new religion? No. Did I hack into some terrorist group's server? No. Did I witness an assassination? No. I got in wasted and had a one night stand with the mistress of a prominent politician. Well, yes. It was just the one time. Wow, okay, Sigma. And she was the one who went after me. Anyway, I was just an ordinary college student. If there was a reason I'd been abducted and put in the nonary game, I sure couldn't see it. Why was this happening to me? I thought back to what I'd been doing right before I was taken. The memories were still a little blurry, but they were there. I reminisced to the sounds of faint lo-fi. December 25th, 2028. Early morning, California desert. The moon was beautiful. I just finished writing a paper due that day. It was heading to my car from the research building. The parking lot was empty, and a bright moon cast sharp shadows across the chilly pavement. The last time I had looked at the clock, it said it was 2 in the morning, which meant that day was Christmas Day. So why was I at school, typing away feverishly on Christmas? There are three reasons. First, my home computer had suddenly decided to eat shit. <laughs> when I hit the power button, I just got nothing. I didn't have the time to spend all night troubleshooting the stupid thing, so I headed back to campus to use one of the school machines. Second, the professor in charge of my research group was a Buddhist. Christmas didn't appear to have any sort of significance to him, and part of me couldn't shake the thought that he was trying to make some kind of point. Third, my girlfriend had broken up with me a week before. I'm sorry. I don't think we should see each other anymore. Goodbye. All I got was that one cold email. God, email breakup! That's awful! But as I might, I couldn't even get in touch with her. Of course, that meant I wouldn't be attending the party we'd been planning on going to. Somehow, I didn't think drinking by myself around a bunch of happy couples would really be a good idea. At any rate, I'd stayed up all night to finish my paper and emailed it off to my professor before the sun began to rise. As I walked across the parking lot, I felt... light. Perhaps it was the relief of finishing my paper. Perhaps it was the five energy drinks I'd chucked to stay awake. Party arc! I'm gonna let the boy, the text to speech lady read all that for me. Perhaps it was both. Hello everyone. I also have a big question. Okay, for anyone here who has no far away vision, do you wear your glasses when being on a PC or not? I just got my glasses recently. Yes. And I can tell you that my monitor, like this is a full arm's length. My monitor is like more than an arm's length away. So for me, yes, it's like a good three feet away from my face. So I do, I do wear them. But US college is having classes the week of Christmas. I don't think the, the classes are happening, but the paper is probably just due. And it could be like a makeup paper or something. I'm sure there's reasons for that. I slid into my car, but Ark welcome in. Think of the resub. What's that? Nine months, Ark. We've had a stream baby. We have to name it now. We've brought the stream baby to term. It's bursting into the, to the world on its German birthday. Okay, thank you, because I wasn't so sure. I'm not that blind, but I can't see. Or I can see somewhat blurry. Yeah. I wear mine, just because it's like far away. But like, if you can see your screen, you don't really have to. <gasps> the baby won't eat salt! Good, it's too much salt. Look at all that salt. I've been being suffered for nine months. Evie, you've been suffered like, what, 14 months? I think? No. That's way too much. 12? 13? I think it was 13. Sounds right to me. 14. 14? 14. Damn! I sent into my car and stuck the key into the ignition after only two tries. <laughs> only two tries. I twisted the key. 
the baby is a Care Bear called the Wish Bear. Oh, did anyone see the Care Bear movie? The movie's terrifying. The kid gets stressed by salt, but it'll make, <laughs> it'll make him like it. It's okay. Oh my god, no. Can't force salt on the people. Huh? I jiggle the key in the slot and try it again. And again. And again. On the fifth try, the engine made an odd creaking noise, like metal on metal, and fell slightly. God damn it! You stupid piece of shit! I screamed and pounded on the steering wheel, but nothing worked. The console was about to get a visit from my fist when... Huh? What? What the hell is this? Why is my car smoking? I clawed at the door, and for a moment I thought that it was just my panic and lack of sleep that were keeping me from opening it. It wasn't long before I realized the truth. Shit! Open, goddammit! What was going on? My mind was racing, trying desperately to puzzle out what was happening through a haze of fear and caffeine-fueled neuron misfires. Kufufufu was my first sub- wow. That goes back. I'm the same as Dragon, I can see fine up to two feet away, but my eyes are usually farther away than that. Plus, now I have progressive lenses and focus on a different, a different prescription for dis different distances. Man, does I have an escape hand? God damn it, Ren. Amazing how everyone has grown within like the nine months I met everyone. Hell yeah, boy! That was when I saw it. Just a glimpse in the rearview mirror, but I was certain there was someone behind my car. I spun around as fast as I. As fast as a very tired college student sitting in a car can. Which is pretty fast, I would say. But who's there? My vision started to swim as the smoke filled my filled the car. The more of it I inhaled, the heavier my body felt. I could already feel the world starting to go dark. The last of my strength failed, and I collapsed sideways into the passenger seat. I can remember the, that digging the hole in the Raglan room. True! Where is this man? Uh, college campus in... California. I slowly drooped closed. It's also 2028 is the year. They opened again. I was in the AB room with Phi. Never talk about the whole... <laughs> and he, he does have a gun in his car? I don't know. Maybe. He's very tired. Why is this happening to me? I spent a few minutes wallowing in misery. I figured I deserved at least a little self-pity. Oh my fucking god. Even I knew that brooding and whining wasn't gonna get me anywhere. Like he had said, we needed to at least find- try and find another way out. And so I shook my head to clear it, stood up straight, and headed off. We are going to go to the lounge first, just because it's the first option, why not? Down to defeat the stale some salt! No! Why have you killed Mr. Snail? He had so much to live for for eternity hunting you down. Wait, isn't the snail immortal actually? Isn't that like the whole thing? It's not gonna get me. Isn't it like immortal oh. though? Hey Sigma. Damn, such disdain. Can I get you a seat? Are you some kind of waitress? What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? I just came here to check up on you guys. So, this is the lounge, huh? A bar, sofa, and three ladies. I feel like I'm in the VIP room. Can I get you a drink? Better not be underage. I turned 21 just the other day. I see. Well, I guess we could probably have a drink or two then. Fortunately, as much fun as that sounds like, I don't think it's a very good idea. Why not? Mr. Snail was a sinner. What? <laughs> Tell for his sins! Oh no! He had to be sacrificed to the sodium gods. This isn't really a good time to be getting wasted. Really? It seems like this sort of thing is exactly what makes people want to drink in the first place. True. Hmm. You've got a point. Sigma? 
I'm just kidding. Besides, I've got a headache. Drinking is probably not the best plan. It hasn't gone away yet? Also very dreamy. Well, it was fine for a while, but now I guess the bastard's back. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm sure it, I'm sure if I just leave it alone it'll go away in a bit. That's how it went away before anyway. Has this been happening to anyone else? What? The headaches. Now uh -huh. that you mention it, yeah, I did get one a bit ago. I feel fine now, though. What about you, Luna? Um, you know, I think I did have a bit of a headache earlier. Not me. No headaches here. Well... Well, what? It's hard to explain. I just feel kind of weird. Your head feels weird? No, my body feels weird. Like my whole body. Do you feel kind of numb? I think I've got the same thing. It's kind of like... Hmm. Like when you fall asleep on top of one of your arms. And then when you wake up, the arm kind of feels like it's not really yours anymore. Not just my arm, though. Or it's not just my arm, though. My whole body feels kind of numb and foreign. Hmm. I don't know. I guess it's kind of like that, but... Oh, if that's what you're talking about, then yeah, I know what you mean. It's kind of like really? my body isn't really mine. I'm sort of floating. Like that? Yeah, exactly. Maybe it's exactly. because of the anesthetic gas. It might what have now? looked like white smoke. The stuff they used when they abducted you. Oh, yeah, right. Seems like we were unconscious for a long time, so it must have been pretty powerful stuff. You think this might be some kind of side effect? Well, it could be a side effect, or it could be that it just hasn't worn off completely yet. Then they bleed soy sauce so your rice can be tasty. They also melt sinful snails. Huh. The deep lore of the snail gods. Whatever. That's not important. Right now, we need to figure out how to get out of here. All right. I'll go have a look somewhere else, then. You guys going to stick around here? Yeah. Haven't really taken a good look at everything yet. Okay. Catch you later, then. I waved goodbye and headed toward the exit. Where to next? Infirmary. We haven't been there yet, either. And it's the next on the list. No, magic apple. They can't all be sinful. So, this is the infirmary, huh? Oh, Sigma. Alice. What's up with your face? You look like you just saw a roach. Are you still angry? Of course. Teetering on the brink of the abyss thanks to you. I didn't have a choice. I'm just trying to get out of here like we all are. And that's enough to justify screwing someone else over? That's not what I meant and you know it. If I'd known for sure that you were going to choose Ally, then I would have chosen Ally too. <laughs> Easy for you to say that now. What? Am I such a horrible person for wanting to get out of here? I have to get out of here. Bought a box of Nilla wafers today. I was munching on some on the way home from work. Nice. I usually like my Nilla wafers with milk. There's a little so bit dry without I still it. Want to do. Like what? Well, let's see. I want to wear lots of gorgeous clothes. Do you, though? I want to eat tons of delicious food and fall in love. What an idiot. <laughs> Excuse me? And I was going to take your side, but after that load of horse shit, you're on your own. <laughs> booba lady, there she is, this booba lady. Ugh. Look, let me try this again. I'm frustrated, but there really is something important I have to do. Which is? Avenge my father's murder. Lore? That's what I have to do. What happened to him? Could you elaborate on that, Booba Lore? Oh my fucking god. No, I couldn't. 
is the Booba Lord, the Lorgo Boing. This isn't the kind of thing I should be telling people I don't even know. She's gotta be used to. <laughs> She's gotta be using some kind of tape on those things. Just tell me one thing. Does your father's murder have anything to do with us being trapped here? Booba Lord? I have no idea. Brent's fucking in here, let's fucking go. As to why you're here? Your guess is as good as mine. Second best door behind what? But it's possible that his death is connected to my abduction. Meaning? I was on their trail. I was tracking down the people who killed him. How close were you? I can't say. But it's possible that I was getting close enough that they decided something had to be done with me. Are you a detective? Well... I wouldn't really say I'm a detective. <laughs> but lore obviously SMH. Not a bad guess, though. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Well, I mean, you don't really have the detective look. I didn't say I was a detective. Then what are you? No. CIA? Fine. Well, whatever you are, you don't look like one. That's fine. In my line of work, the less I look like what I am, the better. The better I keep him guessing. Hey, what's the deal with you and Clover? What's she got to do with anything? Well, you know each other, right? I was thinking maybe you were related or worked together or something. No, she has nothing to do with my work. She's just a friend that I met somewhere. Where's somewhere? In the middle of a desert. Yes. Desert. But that's an awfully long story. Ayo. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Why am I the only person getting the third degree? That doesn't seem fair to me. How about you guys give up a little personal information, too? We'll start with you, Tenmyoji. Who are you? Just a garbage collector. Any <laughs> ties to Zero? None. What's your relationship with Quark? You two know each other, right? Do I have to answer that? Well, if you really don't want to, it's not like I can force you. Oh, and I apologize, but I don't have anything to say about that subject. I mean, it's not like you told us everything either. I see. Very well, then. Dio, it's your turn. What's your profession? Well, you're probably going to think I'm full of shit, but I'm a circus ringleader. A ringleader? You're kidding. Nope. I'm the real deal. I lead a company of about 50 people. We travel all over the world. It was my grandfather's grandfather who founded it, but my father died at a young age. I'm a fifth generation ringleader. <laughs> Never would have guessed. My old man was a trapeze artist. <laughs> he tried to do this. He chimed in. Flip and missed. Well, I guess he wasn't really young. He was about 40. Still, he was pretty reckless for a guy that age. Always talking about how he couldn't let the kids show him up. Guess he just took it too far. I see. You lost your father too. <laughs> well, he said he was young. My father died at a young age. He wasn't really young, he was about 40. Magic apple, would you like an? <laughs> Wait, that's not the button. I <laughs> will. You're welcome. Hey, Mister Nobody here with the quarterly. After these message, which is plural. Here's a quick ad break. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right, guys. All the subs in chat, how we fucking doing? Let's fucking go. How are we on this lovely, what is it, Wednesday? Wednesday already? Damn. Lovely Wednesday night. Oh, let's fucking go, mate. I should probably actually be here so I can keep track of how much time we have. I'm the same. Nice. So I got 25 seconds left on the ad. It 
It's not nice? What? But you're you! How could that not be nice? And with that, our ad break is completed. You lost your father too, then. Yeah. Shit. Guess I got a little sappy there. Anyway, point is, I don't have any damn idea how I'm. Hey, Rag. I can't zero. stay much longer, but I want to say thank you for commissioning so much. Of course. Easy. You're great, and I really appreciate you. Appreciate you. Also, you should thank all the people in chat who are generous enough to donate, such as Evie. Evie is going to be getting a chibi drawing. I got and a body pillow. Last night of one of our tour stops, I'd gone out to a couple bars and gotten shit faced. Yep. On my way back to the caravan, this black van pulls up. Somebody grabs me and throws me inside. True. Spread that love, chat. I can't even get a look at him. They. Hit me with that gas, and I'm out like a light. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the AV room. <laughs> anyway, enough about me. He doing the Sundari act. You still haven't heard your story, Sigma. Who are you? I told you guys the first time we met. Don't you remember? I was on my way home from school. When I got into my car, this white gas started pouring out of everywhere. Are you some kind of doctor? Huh? No, I'm still working on my degree. I'm shooting for a PhD, but I'm not quite there yet. I guess you've been working on that for quite a while, huh? Yeah, I guess I have. Can you think of anything that might connect you to any of this? Believe me, I've thought about it, but I just keep drawing a blank. What about Zero? No idea. Pretty sure that v Dio is voiced by Liam. Do any of the people here look familiar to you? Uh, Dio is voiced by Dio Volshock? Nope. You're all strangers. Well, I guess I can't really say for sure about Kay, since I haven't seen his face. I suppose it's possibly someone I know. Just who is he anyway? Until that amnesia clears up, I don't think we've got any way of knowing. Oh, come on. You know he's full of shit. You still don't believe him? Of course not. Okay, well, Kay is a bit of a mystery, but... What about some of the others? Clover, for instance. What does she do? I think she's a student. At night, she's a waitress or a bartender or something. Hmm. What about Quirk? Well, I guess he probably doesn't have a job, huh? This reminded me. My younger, no longer sister, came out to me as non-binary recently. I'm the second person they've told. I love them to bits for letting me be the second to know. Keep in mind, Apple. I am not... Non binary or uh, trans or anything like that. Uh, when it comes to people coming out, my understanding is that you should not tell other people until that person feels comfortable letting people know. But that is good to hear. I'm glad that they feel comfortable enough with you to tell you. And I'm glad uh, they have found an identity that makes them feel more comfortable in their own body as well. Still in elementary school, right? <laughs> Why is that funny? It's nothing. Just forget about it. Yeah, you're right. Boy, his age would be in elementary school. You really don't know much, do you? About Quark, I mean. Well, if it makes you feel better, I'm sure. <laughs> well, I know a little about Luna. I got her talking when we were in the infirmary. She says she's got some sort of medical license or something. She's a nurse? It could mean she's a doctor. I don't know. She didn't say. Just going by how she looks, though, I'd guess nurse. Wow. That leaves us with Phi. She's the most mysterious to me. What does a girl like that do? You've been around her the most, Sigma. No worries, it's on their Twitter and all that. The only people they haven't told yet is our mom, stepdad, and bio dad. Gotcha. She told you anything? Look, I just don't know, alright? It's just kind of... there. Like, I looked at you, and some part of my brain just said, That's Sigma. 
No, nothing in particular. You sure. Yeah. It's a real mystery, all right. I honestly know about as much as you do. So, basically nothing. I hadn't really realized it until I said it. I spent hours with Vi, and yet I knew nothing about her except her name, and I only had her word that even that was the truth. Who was she, really? The more I thought about it, the more suspicious she seemed. Fake detective, waitress, garbage collector, an elementary school kid, a nurse, and a circus ringleader. Anyways, the snail's gone now, Satch. Yeah, I need to go back to commission work. Have fun, see you all later. See ya, Magic Apple. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a great night. I hope the commission work goes well. Yee. Plus two total mysteries. What do we all have in common? One thing Zero would just grab a bunch of people randomly. There's no point to talking about this. We should just focus on getting out of here. I agree. I'm gonna go check on the others then. Where do you plan on going? Uh, the crew quarters, i.e., the only place left to look. And then go ahead to the crew quarters. I see. Right. Later, bro. <laughs> Later, bro. Broski. Bro cha cha. Band joint to effort with two T's at the end. Moko, welcome in. So beloved. Bonk. Deserved. Does anybody want? I just made a, I just made a French pot of coffee. Does anybody want coffee? Mocha, how was work? Oh, Sigma. Oh, okay. Perfect timing. You were in the crew quarters before, weren't you? Yes. Yeah, I was. Bye, Alice and I went through all the rooms. Did you find anything suspicious? I'm still on my way home! No, it's so late! Work was good, though. Like a secret door or something? How was the bus? If I had, you really think I would have told you? Or I wouldn't have told you? Anything else out of the ordinary, perhaps? Why does Quirk just look like Link? I just barely missed the bus, so I have to take an Uber. Sad! No! That's so sad! I'm sorry to hear that. Now waiting for another bus. Double sad. Out of the ordinary. Mm -mm. What's this book? Oh, good lord, sorry. Huh? Oh, that's a book of meowed cats. A meowed? Oh, sorry. It's just this thing that's happened to me ever since I was a kid. Whenever I start talking about cats, I start talking like one. Doesn't really mean anything, though. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> so what's the cat book about? Oh. Uh, well, there's this quantum physics thought experiment called Schrodinger's Cat. This book talks about it. Oh, yes, I've heard about that. A cat is put in a box with a device that has a random chance to release a poison which will kill the cat. That means the cat is both alive and dead until someone opens the box. Something like that, right? Meowby? What? I don't really know anything. I meowed it. I'm just telling you what Fi told me. So it probably <laughs> isn't going to give us any hints then. Quark, you're doing it too. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, what about you guys? What do you mean? You checked out the lounge with Clover and Tenmyoji, and Quirk was in the infirmary with Dio and Luna. Anything suspicious there? Well, this whole facility is pretty suspicious, but I suppose that's not what you meant. Well, the puzzles in the lounge were lunar eclipse themed. Hmm. Yes. Lunar eclipse. Apparently, there's supposed to be a lunar eclipse on December 31st, 2028. Hmm. All the puzzles were related to that somehow. That's like, what, six, seven days after Christmas? Isn't that this New Year's Eve? I suppose it is. Well, I can't say I know what year or even what day it is, but Clover was saying something to that effect. 
31st, huh? I've been knocked out at the dawn on the 25th, so the 31st would be six days after that. Lunar Eclipse. Lunar Eclipse. What did it have to do with any of this? As far as I might, I couldn't think of any way an eclipse could be connected to our abductions. What about the infirmary, Quark? Did you find anything there? Yeah, we did find something. Just one thing, though. What was it? You and Luna didn't tell you? Okay. No. I got it right here. Just a second. Quirk reached into his pocket and pulled out what appeared to be a newspaper clipping. My throat began to tighten as I read it. Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. The Radical 6 virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The World Health Organization, the WHO, uh, has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Surprise! It's a game with quarantine in it. The WHO band. <laughs> WHO I... Is this for real? It seems a little hard to believe. It really is some kind of pandemic, though. It sounds like a pretty big deal. Yes, it does. Surprise, it's a game with coronavirus in it. Mm. There hasn't been anything on the news, though. This is the first time I've heard of the term Radical Six. If it is true, then I worry about what might be happening to the world outside. Is there a pandemic raging on the other side of these walls? Clover's voice shattered the silence. You guys! Hurry! You need to come with me! Has something happened? That smile on her model is so inappropriate for what's about to happen. World Health Organization banned. Yes! I mean, sort of. I mean, we found something! What did you find? It's horrible! It's really scary! You're actually in a game based on Pinball Wizard? Huh! Never it all makes sense. Just shut up and follow me. You'll understand when you see it. <laughs> no, don't ban the who. It's right over here in the next room. Just follow me. Clever was first into the room, followed quickly by me, Kay, and Quirk. She said nothing, just pointed under the bed. Three of us crouched down and followed her finger. There it was. What the hell is this? I think it's a, a bomb. Bomb? A bomb, Mario? No way. So, thank you, Sigma. Goodbye. Of course. It was the same bomb I'd seen in my... vision. And it hadn't been a hallucination. Had it actually been a premonition? We, uh. we need to tell everybody! I mean, I guess Streamlabs. Last goodbyes are always bittersweet. True? No, it's alright. Hmm, maybe not true, actually. I can think of a few last goodbyes I've had, that, which were very, very sweet. Luna's out rounding them up. They should be here in just a few seconds. I fucking gotta See? run. Where is it? Where's this bomb? No sooner had she spoken the words than the rest of our fellow captives appeared. Luna pushed through them and pointed at the bomb. several long moments, we just stared in silence. Slowly, we began to eye one another. Old suspicions suddenly reawakened. It was Fi who finally broke the silence. Doesn't look like it has a timed detonator. There must be a remote somewhere. You're right. It'll probably use an active button or a switch of some sort, not a dead man switch. If we can get it, we should be safe as long as we don't press the button. Hmm. 
Who was the first person to find this? Me and and Luna. We found it while we were searching this room. I thought you and Luna were in the lounge. Well, yeah. We looked all over, but we couldn't find anything there. So we gave up on the lounge and came here. I can confirm that. I wanted to look around the lounge some more, so I stayed back. You guys must have found it when you got here then? Yes. How did you know it was a bomb? Well, I mean, I could tell just by looking at it. Why? Why? Well, during my train. Your training is a bartender? Clover! Clover's eyes widened and she clapped her hands over her mouth. Anyway, this is definitely a bomb. I guarantee it. How do you know? I just do, okay? You sounded pretty sure about the switch, too. How do you know all this? Let's just say it's an occupational hazard. What kind of occupation do you have? I can't tell you that. Spare me the bullshit. This isn't time for keeping secrets. Please, just trust me. Look, I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm sure that's a bomb. And it's not just any kind of bomb. It's an antimatter bomb. Ren's favorite. Antimatter? What? Wait, you mean a bomb that uses annihilation energy? Oh, you know what that is? Anyway, yes, you're right. Uh, what's Annie Hill Nation? What is up with her, or what is up her outfit? It's a great question, Andy Brigade. <laughs> I would have thought you'd know. Huh? Why? Well, your name is Quark. I was at this point, didn't need the answer. <laughs> oh, no! Do you know what that means, right? Yeah. Grandpa told me about it. He said it's an elementary particle, one of the smallest bits of matter. That lady wearing a scarf is. I don't even think it's a scarf. That looks made of metal to me. I don't even know anything else. I see. Can you explain it to him, Tenmyoji? Me? Like a golden hoop? Well, you know him best. I thought you could explain it best. Uh, let me think. Um, I don't know. It's hard to think of a way to explain <laughs> it in simple terms. In front, in front of a child. There's nothing inherently sexual or immoral about BAPS, idiot brigade. You want me to do it? Yes, please. But like, yeah, she should button up her shirt. If I nodded and turned to Quirk. Okay. To begin with, we usually refer to bits of matter as particles, but there are also these things called antiparticles. For example, an electron is a particle with a negative charge. It has a sort of opposite, which is the antiparticle called the positron. It has a positive charge instead of a negative one, like the electron. So, protons have antiprotons and neutrons have antineutrons. Antimatter is a general term that covers all the antiparticles. Interesting not the point. Matter is that because of the Talk about any matter. Normal matter, when they collide, they both sort of cancel each other out. When they cancel each other out, though, it releases a whole bunch of energy. That process is called annihilation. So, an antimatter bomb is a bomb that uses annihilation energy. I don't really get it. Oh. Oof. That was a pretty good explanation. All right. How about this? You've got men and women, right? They're kind oh, no. of like complete opposites. I guess on a binary scale, yes. What happens when you put them together? Um. Well, if there were a uh, quantum, <laughs> oh my fucking god, Fi. Then when you put them together, they disappear because their opposite elements cancel each other out. Like when a plus cancels out a minus, you get zero. That's annihilation. But when you get annihilation, you also get. I know, a baby. <laughs> Just waiting for that. <laughs> exactly. In this case. The baby you get is the energy from the annihilation. Evie, where the fuck does that even come from? Evie, what the fuck? Rounding up the bits. 
I thought you were at... Six, how much? 56,000? Good lord, Evie. So that's what a baby boomer is. That's a very good joke, Bullshock. Uh... Evie, thank you. Oh, that's a lot of damage! Can I get a shout out for Evie real quick? Thank you, me. It's not a real baby, of course, but like a baby, it's got all sorts of potential to do amazing things. That's kind of a strange explanation. Mm -mm, Phasmo. You followed it, though, right? I don't help you, Matt. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, that's basically there to prevent, like, random people from coming in and just shouting out their friends or whatever. Yeah, but that thing under the bed isn't going to be making a baby. Just how big of a... Uh... Just how big of an explosion are we going to get here? It's pretty simple, actually. Just use Einstein's E equals MC squared. Fuck. I just like starting yelling at Streamlabs. Streamlabs has done nothing wrong. The mass lost during annihilation Sag. will be converted to energy, so... So you would take the total mass of matter and antimatter and multiply it by the speed of light squared. That should get you the amount of energy. For example, let's say that it has 350 milligrams of antimatter. That would mean there would also be 350 milligrams of matter, right? So you'd have 700 milligrams total. Yes. That means annihilation would produce roughly 63 trillion joules. 63 trillion joules? That's about as much energy as the Hiroshima bomb. What the... You've got to be kidding me. But there's only 350 milligrams of stuff in there. Well, technically it's 700 milligrams since you have the matter and the antimatter. That's not the point. We're talking about something that weighs less than a gram being equal to a bomb that weighed like 10,000 pounds. Don't get so excited. I think I know what kind of bomb this is. It's probably using antihydrogen. There should only be about 25 micrograms of material in there. That's less than a thousandth of a gram. So you'd only get about 45 billion joules of energy, right? You know, yeah, just give, give or take a, a bit, yeah. What does that mean? About as much explosive power as one ton of TNT. A ton? Yes. Well, approximately. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's close enough. And how exactly should I not worry about that? That's enough to blow up a 10-story building! True. But it's a lot less powerful than an atomic bomb. Also true! We don't know how big this place is. If we can get far enough away from the bomb, we might have a chance of survival. Perhaps. But how do we know this is the only bomb? What do you mean? Look at it carefully. It's got a number three. Do you see it? I was definitely looking on the bright side of things. <laughs> yeah, you're right. If the bombs are numbered... And there could be a number two bomb or a number one bomb out there, huh? Yes. There's no way to know if this is the final bomb, either. There could be a fourth, or a fifth, or... Anyway, we can't just sit here and do nothing. We should move it. Somewhere. Do you step forward and reach for the bomb? No! Don't touch it! Alice grabbed Dio by the wrist and jerked him away from the bed. What the hell do you think you're doing? Have you got a death wish or something? This bomb is here because somebody planted it. Do you really think they didn't rig it to go off if some idiot tried to move it? Mm. Well, then what the fuck are we supposed to do? We'll just have to leave it be for now. Until we can find the detonator or figure out how to turn it off. Then you're telling us we should just prance off and ignore the incredibly deadly bomb that is probably gonna kill us all? Yep. There's not much else we can do. Do you know how to turn it off? Well, there is a way. Then spill the beans, lady. How do we turn the damn thing off? There should be an emergency deactivation password. But how do you know that? If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. 
So we just need to get this password? Yes, that's right. There's no keyboard or anything on the bomb. Look again. You see it? Right here. There's a port. If we can find the password input device, right we just connect it here. Then we can enter the password. Who would do something like this? I have no idea. But we can figure out when they did it. When you and I searched oh, yeah? this room, we didn't find anything, right? So that means the bomb must have been planted after we'd left. After we left, huh? But when we went and checked the chromatic doors, we were all there. And after that, we've all been around other people. There's no way anyone could have snuck off to plant it. I don't know about that. After we finished the AB game, we all split up. But if someone planted it right before then... What do you mean? Oh, yeah. You don't know, do you? Before we went off to the three rooms, we searched the hallway. Everybody was all split up. <laughs> yeah, anyone could have come by here then. It would have been easy to sneak away. You know, I don't remember seeing you around, Sigma. True. What were you doing? <laughs> well, I was, uh... I just kind of... Deep in thought, I guess. I stayed behind in the warehouse when you guys went off. Mm. We're so sus! Hey, why are you guys giving me that look? You don't think I planted it, do you? I never said that. Not out loud you didn't. You gotta be kidding me. I don't know anything about this bomb. Really? Are you sure? Back when we were in the AB room, you said you saw the moment when the bomb exploded. We did say that. Th that was, um, just a... I could hardly say premonition. If they didn't think it was the worst line on the planet, they would've... They'd think I was insane. Wait, 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 wait. This doesn't make any sense. According to Temioji, any one of us could have been in here. Why am I the only one who's under suspicion? Also, also, there's no way to know the culprit here is actually one of us. Maybe there's someone else in here and they set up the... Impossible. Why? There's no way that would get past Zero. And there's no way Zero would let anybody do something that would get in the way of the game going forward. Um... What? When you say zero, you mean the AI, right? Of course. This is confusing. <laughs> From now on, let's refer to the real zero, the one behind all of this, as Zero Senior. Which would, of course, make the AI Zero Junior. Okay, fine with me. Anyway, whichever one it is, they're not going to let a tenth person in, there's no way. What if the tenth person is Zero Z Senior? I don't think it could be. Why not? Well, Zero Jr. said so. He said that the real Zero was one of us. Flying Clover were right. There couldn't be a tenth guest. Yo, the ninth guest? Confirmed. And Zero Senior was, without a death, or without a death, without a doubt, one of us. Getting ahead of myself there. Uh, but if that was the case, then could Zero Senior have planted the bomb? If not, then who had? Alice? Dio? Luna? K? Clover? Tenmyoji? Phi? Or... It seemed insane, but could it have been Quark? No. How would Zero Senior have gone have gone to all the trouble of setting a bomb. Make this game more exciting? Make it seem more dangerous? No, it didn't fit at all. But if that was the case, then the person who planted the bomb was someone other than Zero Senior. Oh no, this is bad. What is it? Press the buttons on your bracelet. Huh. Ah shit. Is this for real? We've only got four minutes until the chromatic doors open! Let's go then. 
You're right. This bomb thing is gonna have to wait until later. All right. Come on, everyone. Is that what I assume he said before I cut him off? They open red, red, blue, and green. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. The doors have opened. We need to figure out who's going where and fast. Um, so our options this time are uh, we don't have time to wait for you to figure it out. <laughs> Just pay attention. I'm only gonna say this once. Violate out our options. Option A. Luna and I, yellow, pair up with Clover, cyan, to open the green door. Tenmyoji and Dio, magenta, pair up with Alice, yellow, to open the red door. K and Quirk, cyan, pair up with Phi, magenta, to open the blue door. Option B. Luna and I, yellow, pair up with Phi, magenta, to open the red door. Tenmyoji and Dio, magenta, Pair up with Clover, Cyan, to open the blue door. K and Quirk, Cyan, pair up with Alice, hello, to open the green door. Option C. Luna and I, yellow, pair up with Alice, yellow, to open the blue door. Temioji and Dio, magenta, pair up with Phi, magenta, to open the green door. K and Quirk, Cyan, uh, pair up with Clover, Cyan, to open the red door. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Okay. How are we gonna do we need this? A system here, or we'll never have time to argue it out. Why don't we let the people who are at the most disadvantage right now decide? That's us. Most what? The people who only have one BP. Oh, so that would be me, you, and Tenmyoji. No way. I refuse. <laughs> Well, then what would you suggest? We'll be fair and take a vote. A vote? So we all just, like, raise our hands for the option we want? Exactly. So which one do you want, Alice? Option C. I want to go with Sigma and Luna. Interesting. Tough. Pick something else. My, my. Looks like you're not so fond of me anymore. Do you agree with him, Luna? I'll just let Sigma decide. Ayo. Fine. I'd like option C, too. Clover and I were a pair for the first round, so I feel that I can trust her. What about you, Quark? That's fine with me. So that's three votes for option C, counting mine. How about the rest of you? I'd like to pair up with Sigma and Luna, too. So option B, then. I'd like to go with Phi. We don't even get to pick. Sigma's just like Phi, yeah. You good with that, Luna? I'm um, sure. Three votes for option B. I'd like to go with option A. You want to pair up with Alice? You're a strange duck. Hmm. How about you, Tenmyoji? I don't mind going with option A. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. So two votes for A and three votes for B and C. Clover's vote doesn't decide this thing. We're gonna have to figure something else out. Which one do you want, Clover? I... Um... I wanna go with option C. God damn it, Clover. Quark chose ally in the first round, and I was with K in the first round. Then that's what we're doing. Option C had won four votes. We were almost out of time, and I didn't exactly have a convincing argument. I was gonna have to go with the majority. Ten seconds remain until chromatic... Doors closed. Nine, eight, seven. The doors are closing. Let's go! Come on, Luna, hurry up! We gotta go to the blue door. Right. Luna, Alice, and I dash toward the blue door. 
I looked over my shoulder in time to see the others disappearing into their room or into their doors. Clover, Quirk, and Kay had ended up with the red door. <gasps> I'm home, Mocha Waka home. Okay. We're going through the blue door with Alice and Luna. And Phi, Dio, and Tenmyoji had gone to the green door. Two, one, zero. Zero. Yeah, I get fucked. Sign. That one. Chromatic doors closing. I thought it was just banned. Good. Huh? There are three doors here. It looks like they're all locked, though. Does that mean this is just a dead end? Well, there's a weird lever thing over here. Try pulling it. How about you try pulling it? Hey, what's with all this hostility? Hmm, I wonder. Are you still mad about the last AB game? Yes! <laughs> of course I am! Please don't fight. We need to work together, or we're really going to be in trouble. Please? Ah. Uh. Hmm. Very well. I'll pull the lever then. Is that okay? Yeah, go right ahead. See if I care. Bee garden. It's the garden for bees. One of the doors open. But only one. I wonder how you open the other ones. Who cares? We should get moving. Bruh. What if that's vital to stopping zero? Then I care. Garden confirmed. What, what is this place? Don't tell me we somehow managed to get outside. I doubt it. Look up. There's a ceiling up there. Yeah. I remember the door said bee garden or something. What's a bee garden? It probably stands for something. Maybe beautiful? Luna, it's botanical. This feels like a whole other little world. It's botanical garden. Come on. Like an oasis in the middle of all this metal. Want to know a completely random fact I learned today? Yes. I feel kind of Instantly. saying this, considering where we are, but this place feels so liberating. All of this green. It's wonderful. It's huge, though. We'll wear ourselves ragged trying to search the whole thing. Evie, I like your assessment of Luna, by the way. <laughs> this must be the exit. Yeah, well, so much for this being easy. It's locked. We should split up and look around. Agreed. Well, let's get to it then. Seek a way out. Bum, 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 bum. There's a thing! There's something here, but I can't really tell. Go! I'm gonna have to cross the water to get over there. Please be careful. If you slip, you could fall into the stream. Bring a blue arrow. I know! Look at it. Look at it! It's a metal rod! The guy who played Simon and Love Simon and his best friend in Love Simon played Ross and his girlfriend in the Silk Road movie. I don't know what the Silk Road movie is about, though. Also, isn't she in 13 Reasons Why? <gasps> There's a key. Like, website Silk Road? Can I have to remind me what that website is? I know it's a, some sort of trading site, obviously, because Silk Road, but... There's something next to my foot. Bronze key! Wow! It has a ruby on it. Zelda confirmed. Large shovel, my favorite. All right, we got a garden. Yo, we got a mushroom. Hog. We should get take a closer look at that mushroom. There's the safe. We'll need that later. Mushroom. A red spotted mushroom. I think I'll try digging here. 
Box of silver lead? Pog? That's, uh, silver, not bronze. Massive drug on the illegal substances site that went down for the first time in 2018. Since been brought back by many others, but ye. Yeah. Gotcha. That sounds illegal. Buttons. The three red buttons on the panel. Push them, but nothing happened. Do you think they're broken? Maybe you just need to press them in a specific order. I think maybe you need to press them in a specific order. Do you think maybe the order is written down somewhere? I think I'm not gonna just try it random. Ross is the one who started it. Gotcha. Look, Luna, it's Sigma's house. How dare you? Is that true, Sigma? Is this shed your house? You must be going through a rough time. Rude. <gasps> Pepper. Hey, it's Paprika. No, that's a pepper. Probably a bell pepper. Paprika is what you call the spice you make from them. Oh. Huh. Why is it split in half? I'm not sure. Is the movie out yet? Or is it coming out? Wait, is there something in is there something in there? Oh yeah. Let me take a look. Yellow coin. I would like to dig here. There are leaves spreading out of the ground here. They look like onions. Mountain pepper, gotcha. I did not hear about that. There's some vines with cucumbers growing on them, hanging off the frame. Someone's growing tomato vines on these stakes. Each vine has several red tomatoes hanging off of it. Also learned about that today. Bet? Plant? It's just a flower pot. There's nothing special about it at all. Wait, don't people usually hide their house keys under a flower pot or in the mailbox? They do? Just trust me. I'm sure there's something under there. Pog. Combine that with this doubly torn scrap of paper. Interesting. We'll learn more about that later. Ah, this tells us where to dig. Bird's eye view of the garden. It's kind of like a map. What's that on the right? Looks like a box. I think it's a treasure chest. It's connected to the drawing above, see? I sure do see. And it's a doozy. This is... It looks like a tombstone. So the people buried here are Mr. Tufui and Mrs. Echo Eris? What? Well, that's what it says. Tufui Ego Eris. That's an epitaph. Something they that they feel represents them, or just a phrase they liked. What does it mean? Beats me. Any ideas, Luna? Looks like it's Latin, but I don't know what it means either. Hmm. Did you see this? Tu Tufui Ego Eris. Ah, I can't remember exactly what that means. Um. Something along the lines of who you will be I was, or something like that. Something along those lines. Did you see this? Looks like there's a keyhole down here near the bottom. You're right. Because two, you, and then ego, I. Looks like there's some sort of tile mosaic on the bottom of the pond. A lion? Yeah. Looks like a lion, alright. Yo, these flowers? It's gonna dig here. Gonna dig up the skunk cabbage? Poor thing. It's never done anything to you. Don't worry, I'll replant it when we're done. As I am, so you shall be, or something like that. Yes. Yes. That's not accurate.
There's just definitely something there about uh, a difference in being and also time. Metal scale. There's a plate on each side. On the right plate, the gold key, which we can combine with the gold lid. One scrap of paper, which we combine with this one. On the left plate, a small knife. In the middle, a piece of metal, which we can combine with the rod, I think, maybe. A lever handle, if you will. It's the Black Widow. Alright. We can come over here. Get the metal detector. Is the tile mosaic of the line at the bottom of the pond? There sure is. There's a bench. Looks like there's just enough room for two on this bench. Why are you looking at me? Oh, no reason. Hmm. I need to go look at that map again. Actually, I think it's right here is where we dig. Mound of dirt. Right, let's try digging here. Pog. Combine that with the key. Combine that with the rest of the paper. Now we have the note. This piece of paper has seven red dots on it and an arrow running down the left edge. Maybe we're supposed to read this in the direction of the arrow. Looks like the red dots are all either in the middle, on the left, or on the right. So, left, right, right, left, middle, middle, right. <gasps> thick anime face! Holy shit, thick has been years! Literal decades, little eons since you've been here. How are you doing? The handle fits perfectly into the hole in the wall, pog. Good, now try turning it. Good. When I turned the handle, it got dark. Looks like the light up there went down. Maybe that light was sort of surrogate sun. If that's the case, it didn't just get dark, it became nighttime. So the garden needs nighttime? I guess so. Maybe there's some hidden meaning, meaning in switching from night to day. Let's go see if anything changed now that it's dark. If we want it to be afternoon again, all we have to do is turn the handle, right? Yep. Before we do that... We've got buttons to press. Too dark to see what's going on. Bruh. Okay, well I guess we're going to not press things. There's a star on the ground. Actually, there's several things on the ground. Hey, look at that. Are these... stars? I think the idea was that when night falls, the stars come out? Hmm. Because it has! I've been alright, just drastically busy. Star. Star. Star, what you been up to, though? How's that been going? Star, star. Bing. The star showed up once night fell. I wonder if there's some significance to that. The star is definitely red. Light is right underneath it. This is a big star. So far, I, I found one star. What? I found so many stars. Where did I come from? That star looks pretty green. It's a pretty small star. I'm impressed you even saw it. So far, I found two stars. The star is yellow. The size, shape, and color are all exactly what I'd expect from a star. I guess you could say this is a typical star. I would say it's mid-sized. So I found three stars. Okay, we'll keep looking. This one's blue. I like I could just reach out and grab it. How romantic. Well, I am a woman. 
looks a little large for me to carry, though. So far, I've found four stars. And I forgot that women have a hold on the romance market. Men aren't allowed to want to grab stars. Sag. The star is purple. It's so small and cute. So far, I found five stars. Five stars on, yep. Besides grinding, I've been going to my, uh, tattoo session to get and finish a new piece. Driving, moving things around, etc. Nice. Keeping busy is what I'm hearing. Living life on the edge. Maybe not the edge, but like living life at least. I'm gonna hand it back, made the room crack. The light that went up, that went down when you turned the night on, came back up. It's kind of a lot to elaborate in short, short period of time. I got you. Now the sun's out. It's gone from night to afternoon. You no, know, it's where's a where's a good time to elaborate on it though is a uh, is a uh, the Discord. Quick refresher. Okay. That's right there in the corner. I was doing it from memory. Huzzah! Waterfall stopped. I guess that was the waterfall control panel. The indentations are small and circular, so we probably need to find something that matches that description. Do you have anything like that? I sure do. Small and circular, huh? We have a yellow coin, which will go here. Might go here. We'll see. See what the other the other colors are. Oh, do we have to we have to take it out every time we leave? Sag. All right, metal detector. Time to start using this some places. Oh, the metal detector seems to be responding to this tomato. All right, grab it. Uh, okay. Did it react to any of the others? No, just this one. Here you go. Pog. And then I believe... Yeah. Oh, look, the metal detector is reacting to this one. Okay, can you grab that one then? Right. Did any of the others cause any reaction? No, just this one. Here you go. Cucumber. Yo! Larry and Bob? Confirmed? In Virtue's Last Reward? God loves you. And he made you submissive and breedable. Green coin. And red coin. Okay, we need one more. Which would be... I guess over here, maybe. Mm, nope. We need another one that is either purple or different color. Maybe it is uh, actually back in the middle one here. There we go. That'll do it. Oh, this one. It's reacting to this onion. All right, let's dig it up. was the only one that got a reaction, right? Freshly ex excavated onion. White coin. Okay. So we put the coins in the order of size based on the size of the stars. I went too far. Heck. So red was definitely the biggest. Yellow was mid-sized. I want to say green. Small. Yellow was mid. And white. Okay, we can swap these out. Let's try swapping these. Maybe yellow is slightly bigger. Okay, and then we'll try solving these. Make 
cucumber coin. Okay, we are going to go take another look at the stars then. Oh, right, don't need that. I just need to pull the lever. Pull the lever, crunk. Okay, let's take a better look at these stars. Got green, white, yellow, and red. Red is definitely the biggest. But then green is the smallest. Okay, red big, green small, yellow mid. So then we just need the. What is. Um, white. Big is the white star. Oh, duh, the white star is the sun, and it's the biggest one, I think. I think is the, the th hint there. Because it's the sun. Clever puzzle. Right? No? What? I thought for sure that was it. What is this? I'm so sad. For an indentation in the middle plate, it looks like they would fit the coins. I'm guessing just putting coins in holes randomly won't do us much good. What do you mean? The listen signs in between all the indentations. I bet that's something to do with the coin goes where. Coins are all the same shape and size, though. Harvey Spikes. Wait! Wait! Oh my god, god damn it. It's about the weight of the coins, not the size of the stars. Puzzle sucks. Hate this puzzle. Green is heavier than yellow. Green is heavier than white. Green is heavier than red. Okay, so green is the heaviest. Yellow is heavier than white. Yellow is heavier than red. What? Oh god. What? Just flew everywhere. Do you think it's broken? Let's see. Oh, I get it. If you use the scale more than five times, it triggers a spring, which makes the whole thing shake. It'll do the same thing if you stop using it before you've reached five times. Oh, right, we need to pick up all the coins. God damn it. Well, now I've got the coins. You have to be clever about it. Ugh, puzzles. Steel is heavier than feathers, true. True, true, true. A ton of steel definitely heavier than a ton of feathers. It just makes sense. Okay. <sighs> you ever just have to be clever on, on stream in front of a bunch of people? Okay. That's actually very helpful. So green and red equals yellow and white. So I'm getting out of that. Green, red equals yellow and white. Me clever on stream? No, never. Lucky bastard. Green and yellow, white and red. Green and yellow is heavier than red and white. Green 
and white is heavier than red and yellow. Okay. Okay, so if green and red equals yellow and white... That means no coin is equal to the sum of the other three coins. It means that yellow and white are both heavier than- no, that's not necessarily true. If I had my camera on all the time, you would just see the apple- <laughs> apple rainbow sparrow processing icon over my head as I try to process everything. Oh uh, boy. I hope I don't look stupid right now. Um, let's try... Yellow should be the heaviest. Let's actually try... Yellow... Equals... Red and white. So we can substitute... Um, yellow for red and white in all these equations. Is that even helpful? I guess green is worth two white. White is heavier than red. I think with that we're good. Oh, we went everywhere again. Guess we can't just take our time here. We'll give you two more tries to find- to try and figure out the weight. If you can't manage it, we're gonna have to take over. She's right. <laughs> if you keep this up, the scale might break. Wow, if you just start the scale game again after playing it twice, the difficulty level will be automatically changed to easy. No. Oh, now I've got the coins. I've got it! Okay. Let's review our notes. Green is definitely the heaviest, followed by yellow. And white is heavier than red. So red is the lightest. Let's go. What's that noise? It sounded like something unlocking. I guess it wasn't just a panel. It was actually a door. There's a screen inside of it. Showing nine stars. What are we supposed to do with them? Well, why don't you try touching them? Okay. Put stars in the correct order. Okay, it was... In, so in order of size believe it was oh man it is definitely the smallest red is definitely the biggest question is between blue and purple which was bigger damn it okay Let's go back and check again. Ugh, can't figure it out. You can do it! Not right now, I can't. Because there's two orders for this, which will give us two different passwords. This time I'm going to write everything down. Okay, purple is definitely small. So... It goes green, purple, but it also goes purple, blue, yellow, green, 
red. Red is at the end here. The question is blue versus purple. I think blue is actually bigger. Yellow. All right. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Although. Very large red star, so far I've found five. Very small green star, so far I've found five. They're all in the river, presumably. So yellow there. Mid sized yellow star, so far I've found five. Slightly larger blue star. So far, I found five. There's no stars down here that I can see. Small purple star. So far, I found five. I don't see any over here. So I think that's all we're gonna get from that. Just a matter of putting the two orders and getting the two different passwords. Okay, let's try purple, blue, yellow, green, red. Purple, blue, yellow, green, red. Awesome! Solved it! Good work! Look at the screen. Okay, that's the easy password. Huh? Wait, this is... The safe password! Yep, that's one of them. But then we also have... Green, purple, yellow, bl blue, red. Green, purple... Yellow, blue, red. Okay, that's what I thought. Green, purple, yellow, blue, red, white. Oh, shit. Oh, how do you get the hard password? Okay, it's definitely five stars, though. Maybe it's red, green, yellow, blue, purple? Backwards? No. In order of size, like we said, it was purple, green is the smallest, so green, purple, yellow, blue, red. Maybe it's backwards. Red, blue, yellow, purple, green. Heyo! <laughs> that's so. You did it! Hey, check out the screen. This is the hard one. Whoa, what's going on? The screen's changed. Alright, so we are gonna enter that first. That was star, star, moon. This is a safe, right? Looks like one at least. There was a safe that looked like this in the crew quarters, too. Let's see if we can get it open. Bet. Heck. Yeah! Completed. I'm also just remembering that we have a, a gold file to read from last time. It opened. You did it! Good job, Sigma. Log. So I'm gonna read that real quick, actually. Secret. Uh, yeah, this one. So, we got a gold file last stream. That is for beating the hard version of the puzzle and getting the hard password. Primary chromatic doors. There are a total of seven varieties of chromatic doors in the Nonary game facility. One for each of the following colors. Cyan, magenta, yellow, red, green, blue, and white. 
The primary chromatic doors will be opened at a, specific, at a specified time. Participants can see how much time is left until the primary door is open by pressing the buttons on both sides of the bracelets. Several conditions- oh, this is, um, secondary, secondary chromatic door. Several conditions must be met by the group that enters the primary door in order for the secondary door to open. There must be two pair bracelets and one solo bracelet. The colors of all three bracelets must together form either the color of the door that they are trying to enter, or its complementary color. That's kind of hard to remember, though, so let's look at it like this instead. Red and blue equals open the magenta secondary door. Green and green equals open the magenta secondary door. Green and red can open the yellow secondary door. Blue and blue opens the yellow secondary door. Blue and green can open the cyan secondary door. And red and red can open the cyan secondary door. EU stands for Erotic Units. Fun fact. It's a system developed to measure a combination of physical, emotional, and situation attractiveness. It ranges from 0 to 20, where 20 might be Marilyn Monroe, and 0 might be, if you have bad taste, Gobert Gottfried. For the curious, Danny Trejo rates 16 EU. Just being sexy does not guarantee a high EU rating. Shout out to, uh, Till Dusk Till Dawn. Not to be confused with competing systems of hotness or sexability, the EU system weighs a number of factors, such as practicality, sustainability, emotional investment, and the bias of the observer. Women with a high EU rating usually have usually mastered the art of the tease. Thanks, video game. Grandpa videos. A collection of films that Ten Miyoji has gathered. Their content isn't really explicit per se, but they still aren't really appropriate for someone's quirkless age. It should be noted that the term does not imply the videos contain grandpas or grandpa-like actors. Sigma's cat problem part one. Sigma has a strange verbal and possibly psychological tick, which causes him to make cat puns whenever he talks about cats. The cause of this behavior seems to be an experience he had he had as a child. The experience he had a child. When Sigma was in preschool, there was a deserted house near his school that everyone called the Cat Mansion. He'd always loved cats, so every day he would visit the cat mansion and give the cats that lived there some of his lunch. One day, he realized that he could understand what the cats were saying to one another. A magical black cat appeared and told him that if that it had given him this gift in exchange for giving food to its fellows. But, the magical cat said, You can never tell anyone about your gift. The magical black cat warned, If you do, you'll be cursed. But young Sigma was so happy about his newfound ability that... He slipped and told a girl about it, so the black cat cursed him. His curse was to speak only in cat puns for the rest of his life. Fortunately for him, a magical white cat came along soon afterward, but the curse was a little too harsh, harsh and lessened it, so that he would only talk in cat puns when he talked about cats, and they lived happily ever after. Thanks, video game. Phone! A device that converts sound into electrical signals and transmits them over a wire so that they can be decoded and played back on the other end. It's useful for speaking to people who are far away. The invention of the telephone is generally credited to Alexander Graham Bell in 1876, but there's dispute in some circles as to whether or not this is the truth. In the game, there is a phone in one of the cabins. It can't call outside the facility, of course, but what if you try something like 5309 or 6969, which we already did. Other numbers might do other things, so give it a try. Already did video game, can't sneak one past us. Too clever. Alright! This one's fun. Ice 9 is a special form of water with a melting point of 36 degrees Celsius. In other words, it freezes at room temperature. The idea of Ice 9 was originally put forth by the American science fiction author Kurt Vonnegut. His version of Ice 9 has a, melton, a melting point of 55.8 degrees Celsius. There's a rumor that says all the water in Alice's body is actually Ice 9. Who knows whether it's true or not, but if it is, then she has to always keep her body temperature above 36 degrees Celsius. H! This refers to Gentaro Hongo. He was one of the characters who appeared in 9 Hours, 9 Persons, 9 Outdoors, 999. He was the person who survived the kidnapping of the children, or he was the one who supervised the kidnapping of the children who participated in the Nonary game in 2018. He is the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals and a devoted follower of Free the Soul. Morphogenetic Field Theory This theory holds that there is a sort of field where the forms, structures, patterns, etc. of everything in reality are stored. 
This includes abstract things like language, song, thoughts, inspiration, culture, customs, and ideas. Any information contained, transmitted, or created by matter is held in the morphogenetic field. In the Zero Escape series, people who can communicate by accessing the field are known as espers. If morphogenetic field theory is true, however, then it would mean that, in a sense, all humans are espers of a short. Immunoglobulin. <laughs> Immuno Immunoglobulin is an important part of the body's defense against uh, viruses, bacteria, and other invaders. It identifies and neutralizes certain threats. The IG replicator found in the lab gets its name from Immunoglobulin. We have not been to the lab yet. Integer factorization. Factorization is the process of reducing a number to a series of numbers that, when multiplied together, give the original number. When taken to its logical conclusion, this will yield a list of prime numbers. For the purposes of factorization, 1 is not considered a prime. Example of prime factorization. 210 equals 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. 900 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 5. 107 equals 107, because it's prime. Note. 2, 3, 5, 7, and 107 can only be divided by themselves or 1, which make them primes. Tu fui ego eris. A relatively known Latin phrase. It might look like it's talking about a pair of sexy toaster waffles. But it actually means something like, what you are, I was. What I am, you will be. Sometimes used as an epitaph, the implication is that the person in question was once alive, like the reader, but that the reader will someday also be dead. A little ominous, I guess. <laughs> uh, the Special Office of Internal Security, or SOIS, is an elite intelligent organization under the jurisdiction of the Department of Defense. They investigate potentially disruptive or dangerous elements, such as domestic or foreign terrorists, radical political splinter groups, and religious organizations with extreme agendas that could pose a threat to the state or the citizenry. citizenry. Their stated purpose is to maintain peace, but their charter or authorizes them to arrest, detain, or even kill. Scary. This game really out here just telling us about things we don't know about yet. SMH. Moonstar Sun. Boom. Get the easy file. Well, it opened again. Is there something inside? Sure is. There's a lot of stuff in here. Let's have a look at it then. First off, this looks like a map. On the upper left it says Floor B. The map we found in the crew quarters said Floor A. So A is the top floor, and B is the bottom floor? I mean, I know we took the elevator down to get here, so... Right. Let's keep going. There are more things in the safe. This is... The key card. It has a moon on it. That means... Yeah, this is the moon card that the announcement was talking about. There's two of them in here, just like with the sun card. You should take one, Alice. Why? Well, you're a solo. Luna and I'll take one, you take the other one. Right. Thanks. So, what have you got next? Looks like a piece of paper. What is this? Some kind of diagram? It doesn't make any sense. I wonder what it is. I know what this is, and it's a lot. Oh well, just forget about it. For now. You can always come back to it later. There's two more things in here. What's this? IG equals immunoglobulin. Looks like a note. It says IG equals immunoglobulin. What's... God damn it. I don't want to keep saying this. What's immunoglobulin? It's another word for an antibody. You mean like the thing in your body that fights off bacteria and viruses and stuff? Yes. So, what is this supposed to tell us? Honestly, I have no idea. The only thing left is this key. That must be the key to the exit. Yes, I think you're right. We should be able to use it to open the door. Pog. Awesome. What are we waiting for? It says lock on it, so it's probably the lock for this door. 
All right, let's open this door. Yes, let's. Please do. Here we go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, indeed. And we will uh, see what's on the other side of the door next stream. Gotta leave a little bit of suspense there, you know? Gotta make it thrilling. All right. <sighs> that was a relatively short stream. Mostly because of movie night. My apologies. Movie night was supposed to be like at least 30 minutes sooner. Uh, I'm going to try and make movie night maybe like 4.30 tomorrow. Maybe 5. We'll see. Um, but yeah. I feel like we made some good progress there. I'm trying to remember in the flow of the game how many puzzles you end up having to solve. I don't think you have to ever repeat them, but I could be wrong. I don't think you do, though. I think it's like 909 where you technically can also just like skip. No, I think I think you do every puzzle originally once. I think that's it. So we still have quite a few streams left, but I'm looking forward to it. It should be fun. And obviously, some puzzle rooms are harder than others, so they will take longer than, than others. All right. Who is live? Who do we want to raid? I see a few options. I see a lot of options, actually. I shouldn't lie like that. Hmm. You no, know let's raid this friend. Actually, before we raid, we gotta do some things. I've got about this. First off, schedule for this week. This is incorrect. This is not the right schedule. Don't look at it. If you look at it, it might cause pain. Just don't look at it. Just don't look at it. It's evil. It wants to sell you things. Volume on this scene is very quiet. I don't know why, though. It's the same mic. Here, how about this? Huzzah, I have re-put the mic in. The mic is back in the scene. It is the same mic. Is that any different? I am so confused. Literally the same mic. I'll have to look into that. <sighs> but anyway. Here's the schedule. We got VLR. We did that today. Tomorrow we're gonna play and be inside. It is the spiritual sequel to Limbo, if you enjoyed Limbo last week. Also played that on Thursday. And of course on Friday, we are continuing Virtual's Last Reward. So we will get out of the room, do the AB game, see what sort of intrigue goes on, and continue from there. On Chatterday, starts at 6 p.m., of course, we're playing Fall Guys. As with all Chatterdays, if you are in chat, you are welcome to play. Doesn't matter if I've known you for 14 months, my whole life, or if you just came into chat for the first time. Anyone's welcome. Even trolls, if they can behave themselves. Uh, that is the schedule for the rest of the week. Pretty, pretty normal schedule. I think on Sunday I'm actually going to be doing something too. Um, let me check real quick. Sunday is... Oh. Sunday is Halloween. And I will be playing Fran Bow this Halloween. I'll be playing it starting at 3. The idea is to finish it. Start and finish it. 
So I might, uh, I don't really, I don't want to look ahead at the puzzles and figure this stuff out, but I know it is a point and click adventure game and some of the puzzles are like esoteric. So for the, to service uh, the story, I might go through and just like have a guide open at, at the very least. Just be like, okay, I've been on this puzzle for like more than five minutes. Or rather I've been stuck for more than five minutes. I shouldn't say I've been on this puzzle for more than five minutes. It's a short amount of time. But let's raid, shall we? There's a raid message if you are not subbed. Uh, maybe eventually it will show the raid message for if you are subbed. There it is. Thank you, Mocha. Huzzah. Peculiar that I didn't show the other one. I might need to have like a, a delay in there for like half a second. But yeah, we're gonna raid. I hope you all enjoyed this relatively short stream. It was good, I thought. Pretty good, pretty fun. Pretty good, pretty fun, pretty fun, pretty good. Uh, glad to be back after the fundraiser. Uh, I need to officially like talk about that. Maybe next stream. I totally forgot to. Not gonna lie. Uh, it's kind of like ah! after movie night. Uh, if you guys don't know, we are doing movie night this week. Uh, we've watched A Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the Thirteenth, Coraline, uh, Gregory Horror House. At some point, I want to watch. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I want to watch Freddy vs. Jason again so I can prove to Evie that it's a fun movie. Um, are there others that we were talking about? Can't remember. Unfortunate. It's not. It's so fun. I've seen it twice. It's so fun. I'm not saying it's good. I'm saying it's fun, Evie. Those are not mutually exclusive. Well. Evie just pulling a bandit here and showing up with the incorrect opinions. I'm just teasing you. Um, I think it's super fun. I think it's fun getting to see Freddy interact with Jason and like have Freddy taunt Jason of all people. Like, it's like horror movie with the most confirmed kills. Jason is being taunted by Freddy is hilarious to me. Freddy is a terrible villain. Are you okay, Evie? Now you're just spouting lies. We're gonna get the raid going now. Can't believe this. Can't believe this. We're gonna raid Yuxi. Yuxi's playing uh some sort of something in Japanese. So that is the most. Appropriate game, I can see, out of all the games on my, uh, my following. Spread the love, get the, uh, the raid message in there. I'll see you all tomorrow for movie night. It's going to be around 4.30 p.m. PDT, Pacific Daylight Time. Or maybe 5 p.m. PDT, depends on when I will go to sleep tonight. Hopefully I'll be able to go to sleep at a reasonable hour, and I will be not, uh, awake at an unreasonable hour. But yeah, I think that's about it. Hope you enjoyed. See you tomorrow for uh, Inside. It's like Limbo, but prettier. But otherwise, basically the same. See ya. <laughs>